So I want to say a few words about a really simple format for encoding an image called um, XPM, and so that stands for XPixMap. And XPM has its own Wikipedia entry if you want to read more about it. And in particular, the best resource I've found on the internet for learning more about XPM is this manual, <laughs> so RTFM. Um, and so that should probably answer all your questions, but now I want to just say a few, a few things about it. I've got a few image files on my computer here in XPM format. So first, let me show you how to put a photo or an image into XPM format if you don't know how to do that already. So I'm going to open this um, with GIMP, which is a, a free image editing program that you can get uh, for any operating system. So I have a picture that I stole from the internet of some pumpkins. And in order to put this thing into XPM format, all you have to do, right now it's a JPEG, but I'm gonna export, and so some of this stuff has gone off screen, let me put it back. Okay, so now I'm exporting and um, select file type. And the file type that you want is right down here at the bottom, XPix map image, and so that is the same thing as XPM, and in fact, if the screen were smaller or bigger, you could see that the extension is XPM. So I just do this, I export it. Now, of course, it shows up in my folder, and I'm gonna close GIMP, and here is my, my XPM, um, my XPM ver version of the pumpkin, and I'm on Linux Mint, and. On this system, anyway, you can still double click on it and see the image and everything, and it looks just the same as it did before. All right, and so the reason I'm talking about this image format is because it's so wonderfully simple. You can, you can edit these uh, images just like they're files with your text editor. And in fact, I already have a bunch of them open in, in my text editor here. Oh, that's just a picture. Um, so here is the this is the code for the picture of the white cat that we were just looking at let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger uh, sorry I should have done this before um, yeah okay yeah sorry about that so this is the font size that I guess I'm stuck with sorry okay so uh, you can see that it is defining a an array of uh, char stars. So in C, you know that that's just a string, right? So it's an array of strings. And the name of the array of strings is the same as the image file name. So in this case, it's avatar for terrorist. And if you're wondering why I have a picture of a cat with the name avatar for terrorist, you should look at the Wikipedia article for steganography, which is something I was looking at earlier, and that's where I got this picture of the white cat. Um, but anyway, let me just explain what's happening in here in the file format. So these first few numbers, this 98 means that the image is 98 pixels wide. The 100, uh, and I kind of put it right here too also. So the 98 means that it's 98 pixels wide. 100 means that it's 100 pixels high. Um, 7,779 is the number of colors that occur in the image, and 2 is the number of characters that are used to represent a color. So that might be confusing, and we're going to have to talk about that some more. Um, so what we have first here is a list of, um, it's a list that is 779 long, uh, 7,779 nine lines long and what it is is a list of character pairs you can't see it but um, these are actually um, so I just I did a search for space space and you can see that this highlighted so it looks like these are single characters but they're actually not these are uh, double characters and the second character is a space so for instance um, if I do if I search for right parenthesis space I get this character um, so what this is doing is it is encoding character pairs as RGB hexadecimal color codes, and hopefully you've you've seen those before. If you haven't, just you know, look for RGB color codes. 
on the internet and you can look at a diagram here and um, and I'm sure you'll have no, no trouble seeing how these things work um, and so that's not essential but these are descriptions of colors so this this is mapping character pairs to colors here in these strings so let's go down a few thousand lines after we get through all the character pair definitions we get to the image itself okay and the way this it just looks a little complicated for the minute moment you can see this is still part of the array right still just giving strings in the array and what we have here is um, in this part of the file it's going to be 100 should be 100 lines long because if you remember this picture of the cat is 100 pixels high so it should go from 7783 down to 7883 and it does and it must be off by one or something um, and what each of these lines is is a series of you can see these showing up um, I feel like making a matrix joke but I won't um, what happens on each line is that you get two character pairs one after another and each of the character pairs is encoding the color of a pixel and so remember how many pixels wide the picture was 98 um, so each of these strings will be um, two times 98 uh, two times 98 characters long and what is two times 98 is uh, is it 196 yeah, it's 196, right? So each of these, that's why it's 196 characters long. So that's true for each of these lines, and that is what is encoding the picture of the cat. Okay, and uh, so that's pretty awesome. And there are some simpler ones that maybe I, I should have showed you first, like here's a, a really small picture. Um, that's just this little picture that's uh, just a few pixels wide of um, something that I made in GIMP by drawing, and I made a little smiley face. And the smiley face one is kind of fun because if you look at the code for the smile, <laughs> it actually looks like a smile. Um, and there are only two colors here. So FFF, I think, is white, and 000 is black. And um, yeah, so that makes sense because the periods are black and everything else is white. So double space is white, so there, or sorry, single space. Because in this file, you can see there's only one character per color. Um, yeah, and that's it. So very simple file format. Another thing that's kind of cool about these things is you can actually include them in your C program. So if you want to do some image manipulation in a C program, um, you can save yourself some trouble with the text parsing and just import it. So I'm saving main.c here and I'm going to include um, standard IO and I'm going to include one of these XPM files like how about smile.xpm and main so let's try to print out one of these lines from this stupid thing. Um, so that's going to be a string. And what's in smile.xpm? It's a it's a it's an array called smile.xpm. Uh, so let's look at what zero one two. Let's look at the second line. Okay. And let's compile this. LS, what's the problem here? It says smile.xpm. Oh, it's because I didn't put it in quotes. Okay. And it prints the line. Okay, and so you can access these image files inside your C program, which is pretty amazing. And that's all I wanted to say about those.